something's happening. Something is shifting. And it has to do with from the old to the new. And also, too, there's a reading I'm going to put up on the channel for anyone, no pressure, anybody who would like to see the first part in the 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 portal reading message because I was called to go backwards. And I was called to go backwards for, for a reason. It wasn't supposed to be shared till this time. And there's a reason why we're going to find out today what it's connected to. And guys, like I said, there's just no pressure situation. You go where you feel called to go. That your messages are your messages. But I I have to let them out. I have to let them out or I don't feel well. It's part of my path. It's part of my quest. And it's also part of me transmuting and transcending. And me understanding why we're all here and you know I've, I've never wanted to have a pressure situation here i've always wanted to create with integrity and noble patterning and with the light with my heart but i like for a long time i've been I've been stressing because like sometimes i look at the channel and I'm like oh my god there's so messages there's so many messages and then, you know, I try to cut it back and then I don't feel like I'm honoring what's happening. And then too, I don't feel like I'm honoring my path here with you guys. And part of this is my path to understand how to even express to you what's happening. And I've had to learn how to slow down. You know what? Look, I just want to get my downloads in five seconds, but that's what our downloads are for. Our downloads are for us to have our downloads with the light in the dark and to restore the balance and to expand. But then, too, there's times that, like, I've had to learn how to slow down and heal from my impulses and honor the messages. And I always speak about, you know, what's happened here with my spiritual quest, just so, so you guys can resonate with it. Not just because, you know, I just want to sit here and talk about myself, but because it wouldn't be fair if I talked about everyone else. Like, yes... You know what we have we are going to have times we're going to talk about what's happening with others and there's going to be times we're going to talk about what's happening on our spiritual quest it's the balance it's the balance of everything coming together it's just like you know there was this star seed and she's doing a very good job for the collective right now but she was attacking people saying you know the creator's just within and don't distract yourself without it's all within but that's unbalanced the creator is within and yes, we need to restore that because we've been forever for searching without. But the creator is also without. You know, as within, so without. As above, so below. And that's how you're able to see that the creator is everywhere. And this is what this is about. Being able to see that the creator was in spaces and places you never thought that the creator was before. Because we've been trained not to look there. We're healing from programming. We're healing, for, we're healing from social conditioning. Guys, we're in a massive time of the truth is being illuminated. And unity. You know, even my son today is learning about Black History Month. And they were talking about how, you know, every single month there is... And I, guys, I don't want to trigger anyone. This is just about how we're going to come together. This is just more to think about, more knowledge, more experience. It's just like they were... And I apologize if it feels like we're always facing the negative, but that's what we do here. We face the negative to be the positive charge, okay? We do shadow work here. Okay. So, my son and his teachers were talking about the fact how there's a month for every, every single race, but the white people. And that's because the white people don't deserve to have a month because of everything they've done. And I get that we have to heal from our past. I get that we have to heal from our history. I get that we have to heal from what has been caused through segregation and race. But that's part of the programming. We've all suffered in one way or another. And to just say that you don't suffer if you're white, that's not true. And also too, there's a lot of white people on this planet that didn't do anything to any other race. And this is what being the... the Healing and being the rainbow people is all about, the rainbow warriors. It's understanding that we are all uniting through our pain, through our trauma. And yes, white privilege may have, you know, exist in, in templates, but that doesn't mean that every white person is existing in those templates. And that was on purpose by the creator in order for us to come together, in order for us to understand. 
And I'm going to speak about personal experience here. I'm going to switch gears once again, too. I got to talk about my personal experience because that's what I know. I have experienced people shaming me, spitting on me. I want, you know, even as far as like, you know, sexually attacking me and telling me that it's my turn, it's my place. I've been spit on, I've been shunned. I have had people take their children away from being able to play with my son and telling me it's my turn and telling me I have a golden pussy. I have not hurt anybody. I have never looked at race. I wasn't born that way. I don't, I don't resonate with this, but I've taken it. And I've taken it because I'm empathetic and I understand. But to say that we all don't suffer, guys, we all suffer in our own ways. And the elite, they're in a whole other space and place. And, you know, the people that are trying to turn us against each other, they're in a whole other space and place. And there has to come a time where, where we all come together and we're not always in racial tension. And this is why if you have experienced trauma in your life, whether you're you know, whatever color you are, whatever's happened to you, it's so that we could break through these systems and we could all come together and we could all unite. And that's not saying that people of, you know, other ethnicities have not suffered. We've all suffered in our own, like I said, like I said, our own ways. And what has happened to other ethnicities to, to create white power, that is sickening and I don't stand for it. I don't stand for racism. I don't stand for segregation. I don't stand for, you know what, you don't fit into this box. That's not what I'm about. That's not what this channel is about. That's not what this is about. This is about saying that if we take away our skin color, where we're from and our religion, and we just looking at our light, who are we and how do we connect? And you know, what is behind the veil? What is behind the mask? What is behind the show? And how can we all come together? How can we not all continually perpetuate the segregation, the pain? How do we heal from it and move forward? Because I really feel like, you know, the inorganic ones, as infinite waters would call them, would love if we just kept fighting with each other and blaming each other. But human nature is human nature. And humans are beautiful amazing creatures and this is what this is why we're restoring natural patterning with the creator from the creator from the dawns of time now this is where we need to honor that racism is still happening today and segregation is still happening today you know i have a good friend who's in the deep south and she's down there she's a starseed twin flame and she's doing her part to help heal this and we're you know like this is a disease that we are we are programming through social conditioning and it starts with us it starts with us healing and us standing up and us saying you know what we don't support this anymore but there's more than just racial tension between if you're black or white many other ethnicities experience racism and how do we come together and stop this how and how do we come together and not perpetuate the segregation and the hate and for us to continue to look at each other as different or, you know, you know, even my son, even my son, you know, because when this class was over, he, he was like, well, should, you know, in the, in the templating of should I hate myself? I'm white. And yes, we have to look at the fact that history, we should be teaching all, all in, in history class, we should be looking at history period and everywhere we've been lied to in history. So many things have been twisted and kept from us. We should be learning about, you know, all the places on the globe and all the people and, and really, you know, learning to love each other's culture, seeing where our culture is different, but seeing where our culture is the same. And that is the balance. And how do we, you know, teach these classes in, in a light where we're actually healing and coming together rather than creating more division, rather than creating more segregation, how do we come together and, and, and give our people the healing? 
give our people the healing that's needed and stand up to this social condition, this disease of social conditioning and what it causes and look at that it goes deeper than, you know, it goes deeper than, than your race. We know that it can go into your sex. And then, you know, religion and politics and, and all of these places where we divide ourselves and we create these wars and we create, you know, hierarchy. And it's being able to see that there's good and bad everywhere. There's dark and light everywhere. There's all the colors of the rainbow everywhere. And what is within, it's it's being able to, to look underneath the surface and see what is what is within and come together and heal and repair and mend and see that, you know, as a starseed twin flame, you've been placed where you've been placed for a reason, reason to heal through these illusions, to close in the gaps, to help heal from racism, to help heal from segregation, to help heal from, you know, sexism, to help heal from all of these templates that need to be healed and create a new and much of it is social conditioning. And that's why we activate with our truths, guys. That's why we have these massive activation activations with our truth that go together, that mean that go together. Yes, we're coming together for us to come together, but go against the grain of what has been created in old earth with programming, social conditioning. So we're massively activated with these truthful patterns that allow us to see through see behind the surface to see behind the veil and come together through the heart with the heart and know that it's about being love it's about being love and shining our light and doing better and doing better and uniting and creating this world creating this beautiful golden ages where we all get to come together and live and prosper and be happy and know that this is our birthright this is our birthright and we're taking it back, guys. We're taking it back. We're healing from the unbalances of this world that are causing sickness. I know in history class, boy, I sure wish I would have learned way more about other places. Laser focusing on, you know, all these, all these white leaders coming in and, you know, conquering land. That's, that's nothing to be proud of. That was nothing I was proud of in history class. I love learning about Japan, you know? I love learning about India. I love learning about all these col other cultures and I still do and this is why I really love food. I really love food because I'm music and dance but my, my big thing is food because where we can come together through food and we can learn about our different cultures through food and we can see where we're similar and we can see where we're different and we can honor both. And you know, you can sit down and break bread this is why I love cooking and why I'm so passionate about it. And I get that this is a big expansion and I apologize if I triggered anybody. That's not my intention, but it, we know we heal from our triggers to grow. And this is all about the magic of us. And you know what, guys? I, I, I just want to say once again, too, like, I'm sorry. I feel like we're always dealing with all this negative shit at this channel. And sometimes people need to break, take a break. So take a break when you need to take a break. Like... You know, I want to be doing all these like pick a card readings and like who's the love of your life readings and all that stuff. But that's not what we are here to do. This channel is about something different. And I've had to accept that because we're creating here with the divine. Or I would have been doing pick a card for the last fucking six months. I would have been doing, you know, what does your love want to tell you for the last, you know, two years. But I have to honor the messages with the divine and why we meet here. So we meet here to face the negative. We meet here to unite and come together on our starseed twin flame missions. And I love you guys. I just know I love you guys. And that was some straight talk and truth. But you know, when we want to hurt each other for our race, or we want to hurt each other for, for our views, that's not right. That's not God. That's not the creator. I had a girl, a twin flame come into my life and she's trying to do some work. And there's, you know, there was somebody who came forth, a priest, a minister. I don't want to say a priest. Let me get it straight. A minister that has said anybody who's a witch or Down syndrome or 
autistic is the devil. This is stuff we're still dealing with in 2022. This is why we need to finish breaking this up. This is not okay. This is not right. But that doesn't mean that, you know what, every person is out to get you. There is, the creator is everywhere. And there is the good, there is the bad, there is the dark, there is the light, there is the yin, the yang, and everything in between. And what is every experience teaching us? But it's time for us to come together. It's time for us to unite. It's time for, it's time for this shit to come to an end. Okay. Guys, we're also going to be getting some messages from Mercury. Mercury. Guys, I want Mercury. It's always on the brain. Always on the brain. Venus and Mars. Okay, there's a card that's in reverse, and there's a reason for that. We're in despair. We're not experiencing faith. We're healing from manipulation with the mother to express, but we're not in faith. We're in despair. We are in a time of despair. So let's see how we can heal from that. No, I feel called. Let's just see. Okay, we're going to grow. We're going to grow, and we are going to go from unfulfillment to fulfillment by completion and embodiment. But let's see how. It is connected to the all. We're going to release to embrace. Guys, that means we have to let something go out of the sacred container in order to get filled back up. And as within, so without. So you may be doing it in your environment. You may do, be doing it within. Okay? And this ha is working with the Father. And this is the creation of joy from, we know, healing from the Four of Cups. Because that's the connection to the two, 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 two portal reading. Is that we're going to separate the cups. We're going from one to three and one plus three is four so we're going to separate the cups the ace plus the connection and it's the creation of joy but we had to have a reunication with the eight of cups and connect to our abundance with the three and work with the high priestess to restore balance and work with our energy our chakras the light the lotus and we expand with Fortuna, the daughter of Jupiter, we're singing our authentic tune here, our song, and we're balancing it out with the earth. Guys, we need to balance it out with the earth. We need to make it right with the earth. We need to make it right with the earth. So what's being illuminated? It's about, we go from abuse of power to power of creation. So I'm going to say that again. We go from our abuse of power to working with the powers of creation. We untwist it. And we're going to do that with change. And that changes from within to without with the moon. And there it is. We achieve it. There is the achievement of letting go of what's lower vibrational. We have to accept the change. We have to go within. We have to have an introspection. We have to connect the masculine and the feminine and use the scarab beetle and expand with the light. And we talk all the time what the scarab beetle does with us, right, guys? So let's just see what's being illuminated here. And the Queen of Swords, okay? Queen of Swords and victory. And we're having victory from an ending. So we're having victory from an ending. Our heart chakra is lit because the Lady of Liberty is here to help us to heal with our perceptions. There's the ending. But we're having the ending with the wands here. And here it's the swords. So of course, we know that the swords... The air and the wands, the fire are working together and we're going to expand with the mother because we know we're in Pisces season. We're working with the cups and this is a four of pentacles shift with the three of wands to heal from the three of swords. And this is being able to activate with the daughter of swords and the father of cups. And now we have counterparts. Because these counterparts, we know we're in Pisces season. This is going to be activating, activating by the Pisces new moon. It's helping us to create peace. On the path of the moon. With new patterning. And we are in wish fulfillment. Why though are we in wish fulfillment? Because we've restored justice. And now we've added the wands. We've added the father. And now we're going to begin movement. And elevated move, movement. Look at the stairs. So this is the father and the mother coming together to help us elevate. With our subconscious mind, our patterning, and our movement. From the feminine to the masculine. Connected to the moon. Okay. 
Okay. And what is it activating here? The magic of us. Here we go, guys. The magic of us. Let love grow. Goes back to growth. You know, we're in a time of growth. Let love grow. Loveria. Let love grow. Loveria appears when a healthy expression of love has turned into an obsession with love, or more specifically, an idea that is not love. The skeletons of your ex expectations are limiting your experience of love. See, you guys, we're clearing something out from the past. Our karmic. <clears throat> we've had some sort of karmic situation that we've had to heal from and create a new with, but with new patterning. Release your attachment to what was and let a new concept of love evolve in your heart and mind. The embrace appears tender between the lovers, but they are bound by vines that trap each other in a fixed expression that cannot grow. Now is the time to remember your lover is only human. Your lover is not a god, goddess, and so do not worship them. Enjoy them. Enjoy them. Love is beautiful in all of its expressions, but the extremes of passion and infatuation are not sustainable. It's time to find balance in love. This is a lesson we, we need to learn to come together with our counterpart or to experience higher vibrations with our counterpart. Of this unconditional love we came here to create with the creator. This is twin flame starseed expansions of love. Whether you are in an intimate relationship or not, whether you have family or not, whether you have friends or not, it's time to rethink what love is in your life and how you express it. And as such, experience it. Be courageous. If you want someone loving and kind, you must be kind and loving too in the energy of what we're creating. If you want someone who is secure in themselves and wants healthy, positive commitment, then you must embody these qualities too. And this also goes to a message coming through. If we want someone who's in love and not in lust, we have to be that too. Loveria is a soulmate card. When drawn with the witch card, we don't have the witch card. Let's just make sure there's no, no. If you are wondering if the object you desire is the best reflection of you, the witch says it is. And that can be anything you desire to experience love with. Lover, job, home, holiday, animal, companion. Ritual, vines of love. To seal love's commitment, you will need an old, an old wind-up clock and vines of ivy or jasmine. Indeed, any supple vine plant... Wound around the clock while contemplating love's unconditional expression will allow the love to stay. The vines can also be bound around a framed photo of the beloved. This is a love spell of manifestation and will bind the person to you for as long as the vines are green. Make use of this time and allow healthy love to flourish. When the vines darken, unwind them with the statement, let this love grow. The ritual of love can be repeated. And guys, this is where we heal from you know, witches are not bad. The creator is everywhere. The creator is in the center point. The creator is all over the place. From within to without. As above, so below. And rituals are healing. You know, where? why was there put a fear there? There was put a fear there so that you would not want to access that space and place. Because it's part of our divinity. It's part of how we actually manifest here. So we don't fall for the fear. We don't fall for the tricks. We don't fall for the propaganda. We say, oh, mm, I see this, just like number 13. Why don't we follow the 13-year calendar anymore? Why is the number 13 in fear? Why is the underworld something to fear? Why is death something to fear? Why do we have to be afraid of all this shit? No, we don't. We're coming together through the center point. Okay, guys, and yes, we are. There is coming together through the center point. We're healing tension with Metatron's cube. With the Ace of Discs, we're in formation with the sun and the moon, baby, through the heart chakra. And we're going to nurture our alignment with 
our connection there's a connection from the new moon to the full moon in pisces well in pisces season let me get it straight and we're going to use those 13 spheres of knowledge with the feminine the princess of wands and look at that we create love from fear lit guys lit and this is connected to our mars and venus messages because there's a grand trine within the sky with mars venus and pluto because we know Pluto's helping us out right now. Love, light, and healing energies sent your way to create today, guys. I'm sending it to you. Those good, good healing vibes, guys. I love you. Take care. Take care. Until we meet again.